Hey, happy campers. It is Savannah with Cookville RV and Marine. And today we're going to be taking an inside and outside look at this 2024 Keystone Cougar 320 RDS Midnight Edition. But before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification because we have more videos coming your way now. Let's get started. As we said, this is the 320 RDS Midnight Edition. So Cougar is coming out with some Midnight Editions. And what that means is that it does have full custom body paint on the outside. This one actually is the Phantom Gray version, but they do have a black Onyx one as well. And you can see it has custom full body paint. It also does have blackout rims. And what I love is it does have blue accent lights, has them on the front cap, on the LED lights and some underneath and on the back as well. And it also has them in the indoor outdoor speaker systems too. This one does have lithium batteries on board. It has solar, two ACs, and it also has anti-lock braking system and frameless windows. Starting out on our outdoor entertainment side, you guys can see this gorgeous phantom gray color out here. You can also see those frameless windows and that blue LED strip that I mentioned. Also out here, we do have a large awning indoor outdoor speaker system we also have a slide cover you have a very sturdy set of stairs and you have your safety rail that helps you get into the camper cool thing about that it's just an added safety precaution and anybody with mobility issues it's super sturdy and they're not going to have any trouble getting inside now check out the storage in the front of this cougar you do have a massive passer storage space as you can see i can put my arms all the way out there's tons of room down here this is kind of where you're going to put all of your outdoor items like your hoses maybe some lawn chairs kind of anything you want down here and since you do use this for outdoor things it gets a little bit messy down here so they've given you an easy to clean out floor you can easily just wipe away any dirt and it is a gripped surface so things aren't going to be rolling around while you go down the road we also do have a couple of electrical outlets in here we have an led strip over on this side to keep things nice and bright and over on your side you do have your convenience bay with all the hookups you're going to need while you're on the campground now Check out the inside. Okay, we're starting with the inside of this 320 RDS, but I did just wanna tell you guys, we already have done a 2024 video of another 320 RDS. This is the exact same thing on the inside. The only reason we're doing this updated video is because this one is the Midnight Edition. The only difference is really is the color outside. And like I mentioned, this one does have a second AC and it has a lithium ion batteries. And right now we're running fully on solar power. So that is the only difference is the inside is the exact same. I'm still gonna do a walkthrough video to show you guys, but it's not gonna be as in depth as my other one, but don't worry, I'm gonna link it in the description. So if you do want a fully in depth walkthrough, just click that video and you can watch that one too. But anyway, let's get started. In the inside over to my right hand side, we do have our in-command touchscreen control panel. Same old, same old, it is touchscreen. That's where you're gonna do your lights, your awnings and your slides. Very user friendly, anybody can figure that out. Now, let's move to the kitchen. In the kitchen, right across from our entryway door, we do have our hutch area. Over here, you do have an electrical outlet. So if you do wanna put a coffee machine here, you definitely have the space for that. We have lots of storage, some upper and some lower, along with this little open piece right here so you can throw your keys in there. Behind me, we do have a pantry. Check this out, it is a full size pantry. You're gonna be able to load up all your groceries in there, full size cereal boxes, all the like. Behind me, we have an awesome fridge. This holds it together when you're going down the road, but I have pulled that out so we can open it up and check out all that space you're gonna have in your fridge and your freezer section. This kitchen, you guys, is so gorgeous. I love how it's kind of an L shape, almost a U shaped kitchen. And over here, we do have our sink. They've given you a drying rack right here. You do have your retra retractable sink nozzle as well. Underneath that, we do have some storage, more storage right here in this added little bridge part. And behind me, we have tons of countertop space, an electrical outlet, storage, a pretty nice size of storage. I would definitely put some pots and pans in there so I could grab them when I'm cooking. Over here, we do have a little spice rack area. You have your microwave, typical three burner stove top, and yes, you do have that splash guard. Underneath that is our oven. And I did want to mention one thing. So when your slide is closed, that's kind of what we call travel mode. So when you're in travel mode, this countertop right here in this storage is going to be hidden and these countertops are going to meet. So you aren't going to be able to get in this kitchen area, but you still will have access 
to your fridge and you'll also have access to your bathroom as well. So those are kind of your main necessities you're gonna want when you're going down the road, but I did just wanna mention that. Now, check out the living room. What I love about this cougar it is perfect for family and friends. If you have a ton of people going to the campground with you, you have tons of seat to fit the whole entire family. Over on this side is kind of your theater seat option. We do have a cup holder in these few seats right here recline. And then we do have this sectional area right here. So you do have more seating and this side over here does roll into a bed. So the cool thing about that, this rolls out and you kind of almost have like a super couch, super bed area. So tons of people are gonna be able to sleep if you have all the grandkids and they wanna hang out in the living room together. It is perfect for that. We also do have some windows behind me and over here we do have an electrical outlet and a USB and USB-C port so you can charge all your phones and tablets right there. We do have some overhead storage. You can throw some extra blankets in and we also do have our entertainment space. You guys love a televator and this is a televator. It is a huge TV if you're not familiar with that term. Televator means a TV on an elevator, obviously. So this does go down, kind of like a cool little thing like that, so you can hide that away and have a ton of countertop space. Underneath that, we do have storage, and it took me a minute to figure out where the switch for this Televator was. It is down here, tucked away right on the corner, so that is where you're gonna control your Televator at. We have more storage on both sides, a little overhead storage, and we do have our fireplace. So you can sit in here and warm up by the fire or if you just want a little bit of extra lighting, that works as a light too. The last part of our living area is our dinette. It is tucked away in this slide right here. This is perfect place for you to eat dinner as a family. You can pull these seats out and eat right here and you can still get those views of that TV. So that's a fun thing to note. And you do have three windows in here as well. So if you wanna have some gorgeous views while you're eating, just roll those blinds up and you can get a good view of that. We also do have an electrical outlet right here with a USB and USB-C port. So if you do wanna use this as kind of a school area for the kids and they need to plug their laptops in, you can do that. And we also do have a dimmer switch right here. So if you want a little bit more moody lighting in here or just a little bit dim, you don't like those bright lights, you can control that right there. Now, let's check out the bathroom. Our bathroom is in the hallway and over on my left-hand side, your right-hand side, we do have a medicine cabinet with storage in it. Underneath that, you do have your sink with some countertop space and an electrical outlet. We have some storage underneath. On this side, we do have a little storage compartment. You could definitely stack up all your toilet paper or fit a small trash can in there. Over on the other side, we do have a couple of drawers for you to put your toiletries in. On the other side of the room, we have our step to flush toilet and we do have some storage. This opens up and one thing to note about this, it actually does connect to your pantry out there. So that's interesting. You can see that pantry drawer right there. And then we do have a hanging bar for your towels. And behind me, the best part of the bathroom, we have our shower. It is super roomy and you do have a good amount of head height and a skyline here so you can get some natural lighting. On my right hand side, we have a very large seat. And over on the left hand side, we do have some built in shelves for your soaps and you do have that detachable shower head as well. And one other thing to note, this is a deeper shower. So a lot of times the water will sit not all the time, sit in the bottom, but if it does, you don't want that running out into the floor. So they have made that a little bit deeper so you're not getting water everywhere. Now, let's check out the bedroom. When you first walk into the bedroom, you do have a dresser area right here. They've given you this flat top right here. So if you do wanna throw some things up there, you can. And you do have an area right here that you can add a TV. This has tons of drawers in it for all of your clothes. And they are pretty roomy in here. And there's a secret area right here. This opens up giving you a place to put your jewelry, maybe your nicer items, and nobody's gonna know that's there except you. So you can put those fancy items in it. And over on this side, we do have our king size bed. I love that this is a little bit tucked in and it is a slide so you can move this back in when you're not using it. You have some shelves on both sides to put your phone, a glass of water, your reading glasses. And over on this side, we do have an electrical outlet and a USB and USB-C port. So you can plug in your phones, CPAP machines, other things right there. 
Moving on behind me, we do have this large closet. This is a tri door and it has mirrors on it. So if you need to see yourself while you're getting ready, we have spaces to hang up all of our clothes. And over on this side, we do have a shelf over here to put your bags in and a shelf right here to put your shoes, bags. And there actually is an electrical outlet and another USB and USB-C port in the closet to hang things up. And we also do have one more closet area behind me. This opens up, you have some shelves in here and an electrical outlet. You can use this as a closet space or if you wanna take those shelves out, this actually is washer dryer prepped. So when you purchase, you can actually add a washer and dryer in there, which is awesome. So if you like this unit or any other unit in our Keystone line, make sure you give us a call or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.